know, I'm moving my camera and I don't know if I want to like it or not. Hey, 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 y'all, come on in, come on in. I actually need to scoot it back, but there ain't no room to scoot it back. <laughs> come on in, come on in, come on in. My name's Carol with RC Rustic Creations. Um, we attempt to craft around here. <laughs> I don't call myself a professional crafter. We just attempt it. So we're going to try something now. So come on in, say how when you get here. Let me find me so I can read comments because I'm, I, I apologize right now. I'm bad about reading comments. I haven't had comments for so long. I forget to look down and see them. So anyhow, come on in, come on in. Tonight, we're going to use this adorable, adorable little print from Digital Deco Designs. I am not an affiliate with Digital Deco Designs, but MNC Treasures is. So if you will go to MNC Treasures, and at the top of the page where the links are pinned, her um, link tree's there. It's down in there. If you would go through her link, I would greatly appreciate it. I'm not an affiliate, but she is, so let's help a lady out. So there's that. That is one of four different prints and one collage. But we're using the cow. Then we're going to use Essential Stencil. Um, this is Farmhouse. It comes with Farmhouse. Live like someone left the gate open. So those two. So we're going to use Farmhouse. We've used the other one once. We're going to use this one. We're going to put it on this 18 inch round. I'll get this off Amazon. I went ahead and put one coat of um, Barn Red on it. It was just the little um, Apple Barrel Barn Red. I used two of those, two tablespoons of Plaster of Paris, one tablespoon of water, mix it up, and I made chalk paint out of it. I make my own chalk paint. I can't afford that expensive stuff, so I make my own. This cost me like two bucks. Two bucks, okay? For that. It's like eight ounces. So I've got that on there. Now we're going to put some wax because we're going to make this like the, the underneath and we're going to chip it with my famous home crap. I, it's just a conglomeration of white, plaster, coffee grunge. Um, I think that's it. But it's chalk paint. So we're going to put it on top. So... I hope you can see, because like I said, I moved my camera, now I'm afraid to move it. Um, so let's, that's for the stencil. Let me see, can I push it down a little bit more? Thing there. there we go, there we go. You don't need to see me, you need to see what I'm doing. Alright, alright. Let's go ahead and get this waxed and painted, and then we're going to water cut that. Alright. This is just a little old tea light um, from Dollar Tree. You get like a pack of 12 for about 25. Okay. So we're just going to put it all over. And it doesn't matter what direction because we're going to take it both ways when we scrape it off. And I went back to trying my blue mat. Everybody seems to make a fuss about it so we'll give it another try. It just causes me pain and heartache. Okay, so we got the wax on there, and that's quite a bit of wax, so let's see what happens. Now, we're going to put our white, off-white coffee grunge concoction on here. Dry it, and then chip it off, okay? If I can get in there to it. And I... I don't care if it's totally covered. I really don't. Because we're going to be scraping it off anyway. So it doesn't have to be a perfect coat. And I like this cheap brush. A lot of people call them a chip brush. <laughs> I'm buying by the box at, um, yeah, that, um, Harbor Freight. And I 
use them till they can't be used no more. So we're going to be scraping it off anyway so it doesn't have to be perfect. Every time. And then FB thinks I've got music playing or something. It's not. I had to put my apron on tonight because I knew I was going to make a mess. <laughs> okay, now let's get this dry. Get this out of the way. I'm going to need that anyway, so. I just, I got to get it out of the way so I don't get them to make a mess. So anyhow, come on in, come on in. Alright, see, come here. Okay, let's dry it a little bit. It's gonna be pretty good to dry before you scrape it off. Then whilst drying the rest of the way, we will trim up our printable. Take a hot Watch your paint dry. <laughs> Watch your paint dry. but I don't bite. All right, let that dry for just a minute. Well, we go ahead and fix our printable. So everybody says, oh, that just wipes right up. Well, no, 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 not on mine. <laughs> it's because I make a bigger mess than everybody else or what. All right, that'll do for now. Okay. Now we're gonna take our little printable isn't that cute? Okay. And we're going to take some water. I don't have a water pan. I can't remember to fill this up, let alone a water pan. Okay. A little dab of water and my little fine brush right here. And... Okay, we can sand it off later. I just want an idea where I'm going to put it. Uh, 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 uh. All right, so. And this is just printed on regular craft paper. I mean, paper paper. Cheap stuff you get from Walmart. I mean, Dollar Tree, excuse me. And it's very, very thin, so it should. I've done this before, so it better cooperate. Okay, so what we're going to do is, down here at the bottom, I'm kind of going to split it in two. And 
So this is just regular printer paper. Get over here and quit. All right. <clears throat> Take these off. The white edges. Because if y'all been here before, you know I don't like white. I don't like straight lines. I'm going to duck out. Okay. Hey, Laura. How are you, honey? I hope your day was wonderful. Mine was once that 4.30 bell rang. <gasps> I am a clock watcher, let me tell you. Because I still have to work at a job. Okay, and then we're going to do the bottom, and then we're going to kind of split this in half. Kind of, kind of. I'm just using a pointy little paintbrush and some water. We may round those edges in a minute. We'll see what it looks like when we get it on there. Okay, now we're going to, this is going to kind of go up over that windmill, or windmill, whatever that thing is. Try and cut that little bird's head off, but that's okay. And then up over the wagon wheel. Kind of, kind of cut it in two. Little bird lost his head, but it can't be helped. All right, now, let's do this. Make sure it's good and dry. Good and dry. Now I went heavy with the wax, so we'll see what it does. Okay, I think we're good. Now it does make a mess. I don't have anything to not make a mess with. So, and I have an antique vintage. <laughs> this is paste scraper my daddy used back in the day. We're talking paint scooper. It may need to be sharpened. Okay, so we got it that way. going to turn it and do it again. I just wanted the red underneath versus white or brown. I did manage to sweep my floor and now it's all dirty again. <clears throat> okay, so here's where we are. It didn't turn out too shabby. All right, now let's, I'm gonna put this on first because if there's any stencil that needs to go over it, that is totally, totally cool. I think, let me see, let me see. 
this is going to have to go about here. Let's get it all on there. I think down here. I think that'll work. there at the bottom and then this right here at the top okay now I'm just gonna put water glue on the back of this uh, come hither my dear I had to move everything and put this thing on here. I'm just going to put it on the back here. You can use Mod Podge. I prefer my concoction because it's thinner. It's, that's just me. Okay. I'm going to use the iron on method. Oops. We need just a smidge more. Told you, we try craft around here. I, mm, I'm not going to, not going to lie to you. We try it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Just putting it out there. I don't mind the wrinkles, but I don't want a big old fold in it. Okay, there's that one. Let's get this one. Oh, okay. <laughs> My craft spot is really shrinking, so hopefully, with three day weekend, I can get some of this cleaned up, rearranged, and have more room. I hope. That's the thought, anyway. Okay, now this one, I may not get it in the exact spot, but if not, that's fine. Don't. Okay. So, while that's heating up, I'm going to dry this off. I'm going to blow a few of these days, I swear. Just saying. My house was built in around 1950-something. Not very many plug-ins. So it's extension cord city around here. Okay, done with that. Done with that. just noticed here lately I've been getting in a hurry and my glue isn't dry before I put it down so then I just glue my paper my parchment paper to my craft so I was trying to get away from that told you we try we try get this little baby iron oh man And down here. <clears throat> and then we'll sand off what's hanging off the edge. There we go. Okay, so this is where we are. I've still got to sand that little bit off the edge. Isn't that cute? And I don't have anything fancy. I'm just using one of these from the Dollar Tree. 
This is normally what I use, but I haven't changed it yet. <laughs> stencil and you get to the farmhouse and live like somebody left the gate open. Oh, I gotta wipe up some of that glue before I make a mess. Maybe watered down but it is glue. Okay. So now I'm just using just plain old black. Black. Got a piece of paper or a paper towel for a offloading and just a paper plate and turn that off get this over here I'll set it right there for now just get you a little bit of paint don't make a mess like I do take your brush load that bad boy up load it up offload it. You don't want any shiny on that brush. See? No shiny. No shiny. Just hold your... You can take this down if you want. Hold your stencil and then you can dab it or you can circle it. Less is more. You have to make Two passes, totally fine. Normally I just pick up a little bit that I've dabbed off. Cause I, you know, I'm like a bull in a china shop. So I have to remind myself, slow down, less is more. Before we put another coat on it, we'll dry it. This is not like the silk screen stencils. You don't want that to dry in there, but you do want this to dry. Otherwise, you're just moving your paint around and it's not doing any good. Trust me. Ask me how I know. Ask me how I know. Hey, y'all. It's Cheryl. Tiffany, told you I'm the world's worst about looking at, at uh, comments. Thank y'all for stopping by. Okay, now let's dry this real quick. And then we'll put down another coat because I want it a little darker now. I'm a bull in a china shop. I want instant results, but you can't do that. All right, just go over it again. Less is more. Light, light, light. So if you push too hard, you're going to end up with bleeding underneath. Ask me how I know. Just putting it out there. me how I know. <laughs> and just a little bit more to dab. And it's really not taking as much as what you think it does. I 
I just know how I am and I'm afraid I'm gonna shoot it right underneath the stencil. There, there is, if you're used to the silk screen stencils, there is a bit of a learning curve. Once again, ask me how I know. Okay. These take to the sink, soft sponge, soap and water, clean right up, and ready to go again. There is our farmhouse. Isn't that cute? I love the writing on these things. Okay, so we've got, let me, let me dry it, because you know, y'all know. I will stick my finger in that. Thank you, Cheryl. You know, I never know how it's gonna end up, I just know. I just know what I'm going to do. <laughs> what I think it should end up like. Now, since that is actually kind of blending in, I want it to stand out. So, we're going to give this a try, okay? Um, This is brown shoe polish. We're going to give it a try. I just want to make that kind of pop out of there. This is an idea I got from Miss Cheryl at MNC Treasures, and if you would go through her link for the um, digital deco designs, my mind would like, once again, I do that, and then I dab it off a little bit, and then we're just going to kind of go around that edge, oh yeah, just to kind of bring it out, and I didn't dab it enough, but that, this is just an old, um, Stencil brush that I cut off to make it shorter. And I just want this to stand out just a smidge. Maybe just a smidge more. I don't know, it's trial and error. Okay, there. Everybody makes this look so easy. Okay, I like that a little bit better. Let me see. Let me see. A little bit more blending. That kind of matches that red in there, so that's... That's all right. That's all right. <clears throat> okay, so this is where we are. Kind of made them pop off of that, that board a little more. I didn't realize it was that close to the same color. All right, I'm done with that. Get that picked up before I make a mess. Okay, now, about... Above. It's gonna go over on this side, so I don't want really long tails, but I want it to be kind of foofy. So we're gonna use sorry silk. That is, it's got some yellow, some pinkish red, which will match that barn. 
and that, I don't want that blue, it's not the right color, but I do have this, we're going to use some of it, and then <clears throat> some of this string, I don't, for lack of a better word, I don't know what it's called. Okay. So let's start, let's start with the dark one. This is coffee drenched with Miss Tracy's famous coffee drain. <clears throat> Just have to find the end. Okay. So this is coffee grunged. Let's see. That'd probably be just about right. Okay. Try to make it all pretty close to the same. So I want it fifty, but I don't want long tails. I'll be about the same. Okay, there's that. Let's put this was done with red, but it sure looks pink. But I think it'll look okay with that red barn on there. And this is just sorry silk. I got it off of Amazon, and let me tell you what, that is a lot. Of stuff. I bought two of them, and this is all just one, just just one bunch of sorry silk. Okay, one, two, three, four. And let's put this one. This was done with yellow. You could probably make these darker, but I didn't have mine very dark. I was just giving it a whirl. You know, here I did it again. I didn't put my doohickey in there. Why well, put me a note? <laughs> the very reason I bought this thing, and I still forget to do it. Okay, now we're going to use a little bit of, like I said, string. I don't know. I forgot what they called it. But it's just real dainty, and it's sort of a, sort of a barn red and blue, and so I think it'll go pretty good. It's from Topology. Is the closest I can come to? How are you supposed to say it? Okay. Let's see what we come up with. So it kind of reminds me of my. It's just real wispy. Like the cheesecloth I love so well. And it's not wrapped on here and it's not wrapped on here in the best. There we go. And it's just individual strands. I mean this will all come apart. Don't give me no lip. Flip it when we get done. Yeah, there's no way I can feed that in there. Alright. I said this is the very reason I bought this thing, but that I remembered it. You do. Let's not make life easy. And you can you can use whatever you want. Um jute, wire tie, wire, piece of string. And I still forgot to do that. Cheryl, I'll remember that one of these days. I <laughs> can't even find my knot. <laughs> there it is. Lord, 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 Lord. Told you we try around here. Just, we try. <laughs> Alright, since none of that matches, I'm just going to trim that off. Shut up, text message. 
and I'll we'll put a button on there. Okay. So let's get this out of the way. So this this is my craft spot right now. It's kind of crowded. Uh, this can go. Put that up. This back over here. She does not like squirrels. She can't catch them, but she doesn't like them. Right about there. Here comes the fun part. Fluffing. And then, we'll find a button to put on it. Once again, the, the stuff miss. Isn't that pretty? Thank you. Miss Tiffany sent these. Let's see if we can find one that matches. Let's see. Let's see. She's after saving the world. Remind me of um, flower children. <laughs> oh, that one will work. I like that one. I was a teenager in the late seventies, early eighties, so yeah, I got the best of both worlds: the hippies and the big hair. And let me tell you, I had some big hair now, I ain't kidding you. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to pause. Bear with me just a minute. Just a minute. To your little heart's content. Y'all know I can fluff a bow all night long. I've admitted it. That's one of my superpowers. So, it's a little pinker than the rest, but I think it, it pulls. So, there you go. This is from... Thank you. This is a print from Digital Deco Design. This is an entire print. I cut it in half. I am not an affiliate, but Miss Cheryl at MNC Treasures is. Her link is at the top of her page under her link tree. If you will go through her, that would be fabulous. Um, but and I just printed it this on plain paper. I didn't want to. I've got rice paper, but I didn't want to fool with it. <clears throat> but that's it's it's just a, a print on regular paper. I'll put a. hanger on this in a little bit. I wasn't too concerned with that. I wanted to see if this would come out. Thank you. I'm sure it needs something in here. It's a little... It didn't come out quite as good, but I think it's alright. I think it's alright. So anyhow, <laughs> I appreciate y'all being here. Honest to God, dude, you have no idea. No idea. Um, I can put links in the comments if y'all want. Just tell me. Um... And I'll stick them down in there. But I appreciate you watching. I love trying different stuff. So we want. I wanted to see if this would work out. I probably should have moved that farmhouse up just a little bit. But it's okay. It'll work. We'll find something to put there. But anyway, I appreciate y'all being here. 
<laughs> yeah, it's your button. It's your button. <laughs> but anyhow, I appreciate it. Y'all Y'all have no idea from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate it. Y'all have a wonderful evening and happy crafting. Wrong one again.